Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today's a little different. I am going to be doing a skincare routine and I will be using this Duval Radiance Spin Care System brush set from uh, Duval. And you guys could definitely check out their websites and get some stuff from them. I have a discount code and it will be in the description box below. But let's get into this. So I am using Neutrogena Makeup Wipe Removers. Uh, they're the best wipes on the market i don't know if you use something else and it's better i really don't know and i don't think so because this is the best one so i'm just wiping away all of my makeup So after removing all of my makeup, I'm just uh, making my face kind of damp with some warm water. And now I'll be using the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. Uh, this is the only cleanser that I use ever, ever, ever in life. I, I love Cetaphil so much. Like, it's really great. So it is really great for removing surface oils, dirt, and makeup without leaving my face super dry. So when I was trying to get my face correct when it, it was acting out, I would only use Cetaphil Cleanser and the lotion, and it got my face correct really quick so i do swear by this product it is the best and you could get it from like walmart and target and you're just just your regular grocery store so i am using the cleansing brush from duval uh, spin brush system and i'm just working that into my skin to take away all of the makeup and dirt so definitely like i said earlier definitely check them out i'll put the link below and you could get 70 percent off of any of their products with the discount code that I have. So now I'm just, you know, wiping away the Cetaphil from my face and I will be using the Saints Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub to exfoliate. Um, I've always seen some type of, um, I don't know, a lot of people don't like this and some people do. Some people say it's too harsh on their skin, but for me, I think it works just fine and it gets really deep in there and it's not too harsh on my skin and it works for me. And it is really uh, affordable as well. I think it was like $3 from HEB. So for me, it does work. Um, I don't know about everyone else, but I have seen some controversy about this on on Twitter about, you know, if this is in your skincare routine, then you probably don't know skincare. But if it works for some people, it might not work for all. But, you know, for me, it works and I love it. And again, I'm just using warm water in my hands to wipe away the rest of that apricot scrub. And now I'm just gonna uh, pat my face dry with my face towel. It is important to use a separate towel from your body and your face. Like I see some people use the same towel for their body and the face and that's not okay. Make sure you have one separate just for your face. And as you can see, I mean, my face is looking pretty clear if you ask me. And now I will be going in with my Witch Hazel Pore Perfecting Toner. I 
love 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 this toner i don't know what i was doing with my life before it got into my life but i do love it um i also got this from heb for about five dollars and yeah like i just like to use my toner um right after uh I finished washing my face with my cleanser and exfoliator and just using that to get the rest of the makeup or anything that I've missed if I've missed any. So now I'll be applying this aloe vera gel to my face. Uh, I use it as a mask because I just put it all over and I usually go to sleep with it overnight and then take it off in the morning. Uh, I just like doing it. I just like doing it better that way, essentially. Uh, but aloe vera gel is really great as a moisturizer, especially if you have sunburn and or dry skin. It's really great for that. I remember this one time, my face broke out with a whole bunch of red bumps, and I fell asleep with the aloe vera gel on it, and my face was completely clear the next morning. So I do swear by this product. Like it's really great. So now this is me in the morning when it's all dry and now I'm just wiping away the aloe vera gel so I can get into my morning routine. So now I'm going back in with my Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleansers. I know a lot of people have like different cleansers and stuff for like day and night, but this is great for day and night. So I'm not about to waste my money uh, using certain things for different times. Like I really don't care. It's going to get the job done regardless. So I am using my Duval Spin Brush System again to work that into my skin. So now I'm just using my hands and warm water to wipe away the rest of that product and using a towel to just pat dry my face and I will be using the Witch Hazel Toner again. Um, I don't like to exfoliate my skin in the daytime because I'm about to go and put a whole bunch of products on my face anyway so that's why I just use it at night but now I'm just toning my face again. So now I'll be using this African Shea Butter 100% Natural on my face to moisturize. And I'm just showing out the Cetaphil Lotion uh, just because it's also really good to use. Like I said earlier, I used to just use Cetaphil Cleanser and the lotion and my face got really clear um, within a couple of weeks. So right now I'm just putting that all over my face. I love the Shea Butter because it leaves me looking real glowy. Um, also like it just has my skin super smooth so I do love that it's also really good for like eczema burns um, it has a lot of vitamin E and D in it so definitely check that out if you haven't and see my skin it's looking really great and next I like to use this vitamin E oil which is great for dry skin um, I have this dry spot near my mouth right there where I'm applying it at and it's just really been helping out with that. So that's why I use that vitamin E oil. So if you have dry skin in certain areas, that definitely helps. You could also put it all over your body. Hey y'all, so I just had to show y'all the finished product of my face, an up close and personal one. So here's how it looks. I mean, I don't know if any of these products will work for you guys, but this is what I use. I know I don't use that much either. A lot of people I watch use a lot more, but I'm one of those, I'm gonna just keep it simple type of people. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna find something else. But for the most part, all the products I use do work for me. Hopefully, if you guys try out my skincare routine, maybe it'll work for you as well. Um, 
but yeah like I mean my face is pretty much really smooth really soft with all the products that I use I don't really break out I don't have any bumps on my face or anything maybe just like tiny tiny ones right here but nothing too serious so yeah like my face this is this is how I look all the time so um I might end up doing a different video of all the different face masks that I use. I do make some of my own, like some all natural face masks and I also have some of my favorites in here. I just don't use them all the time. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, please comment below. And yeah, like if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, share. Let me know what y'all think and I will see you guys next time.